And we're live. Hello. What Tony tells us. Well, happy Friday. Welcome one and all. I hope it's raining in your lovely neck of the woods because it has it is still raining, guys. I've talked about it raining on Wednesday. It hasn't stopped yet. This constant. I'm gonna build a boat. <laughs> We're going to need it. I was driving. I went. I ran to the store last night, and I was driving home and coming down uh, Sunset, which is one of our roads here, is, like, built kind of on a, a dry creek or, like, a little river. That thing was running good. It was raining pretty hard last night. It was up probably several feet. Yeah. I'm going to have dead fishes on my walk this weekend. <laughs> That's what I've learned is when, when, when the creek runs really high, all those little, like, minnowy fishes, they get stuck on the sidewalk in the grass and don't make it back to the little river, and then there's just a bunch of dead fish which my dogs like to try to eat. So it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's yeah. a good, nice walk. Yeah. But anyway, Danny, what are we doing today? Well, we've got some really nice harness leather here. I think uh, so. Look it, at this guy. Yeah. This isn't your normal harness leather. We don't have full sides of this. So right. a lot of people like harness leather. They'll cut reins out of it. They always want eight foot sides to do that with. Yeah. And we sure don't have that in this. But this is beautiful harness leather. Make great strap goods. And that's what we're going to do a little bit of. Yeah. So this leather's actually been in the catalog for a couple of years now. It's, it's been there for a while. Um, we list it as you can either, it'll either come as a double shoulder cut or a colada. So when we buy this, we basically just, buy the whole cow and they just cut it up into thirds and send us these smaller sections instead of instead of full size but it is a it's a vegetable tan leather um that's just been really heavily waxed yeah it's it, so, it's delightful it, it cuts is. like butter right? you guys will love it it feels really good and so this what we have here let's see here i think if you look in the catalog it comes in three different weights i right. believe it comes in a nine to ten nine ten yeah which will be that's full what we've got i was gonna say full weight here. It's got wax on the back um, and processed, and, and you'll have a waxy back. And then we split it into a six, seven, yeah, and a which, yeah, three, four. A three, four. And a three, four. A four, five, I think. A four, maybe, five. I think. You guys can look it up. But it, some, it's a lightweight leather, weight. good lining leather. Yeah. Yeah. But this, and there's so much character. There's just so much. And every side is different. Yeah. Or I, every piece. You know, and I picked the two homeliest pieces that I could find. <laughs> but but you aren't going to see that. You, you, this is going to be nice. You yeah. guys are going to be surprised. You can see all the all the stuff that's on this, you know. Yeah, there's some but, there's some scratch marks here, but a lot of this is just kind of excess wax that is built up. So that that'll rub out as we get going. Yeah. But so. all you horse tack people, you're going to love this. I mean, it it'll make great bridles, which is what I'm going to make today, a a, a head stall, and I'm going to make a, a back flank cinch out of it a back know. flank cinch yeah say that five times fast <laughs> i made a tote bag out of it nice yeah a tote bag a yeah. tote bag this it, is really nice stuff yeah. Yeah, that lightweight stuff would make nice bags. It, yeah. I mean, it just has a nice feel and a nice wax content it does. to it. Really good outdoor stuff because it has a, like he yeah. just said, it has a really nice oil content to it. So it's going to keep out all of the weather for you. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be great. Well, but anyway, right. let's start off. I'm going to use this, uh, this 6 7, and I'm going to make a, a slip air head stall out of it. One more time. A slip ear head stall, not a, ear, not a sliding ear, not a sliding ear, but a slip ear. Okay. And this is the pattern for it, you know. It's actually it's going to have three different pieces. Is all there is to this. Okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make this doubled and stitched, so I'm gonna make a liner for it too. So, oh, okay. So instead of three pieces, there'll be six pieces. All right. Now, but, Denny, is this just one of your designs, or is this one of our pattern packs? Uh, I think I made this, but it, it, it's not my design. Someone else oh, designed sure. this, but but I made a pattern and uh, okay. had it for years, and I use it. So just your typical slip ear. Yes. Head, what was it? Head stall. Head stall. Okay. Head I'm, stall. I'm not a horse person. A lot of people call it a bridle, but a bridle includes the reins and the bit. The head stall is just the leather, the headpiece. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to put this on here. And I, I already just cut a strip to save a little time here, but I'm going to trace this out. I think that pattern pack that we have also comes with a one ear and then a, and then a normal install. Yeah, it comes with a, a slip ear, I think, or a sliding ear, I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But just a just a one area and then a then both over the top. Yeah, I think it has two like brow band top head stalls in yeah. it. 
Is that is that for a one eared horse? No. It's okay. just horse that you just use one ear of though. Just makes it quicker. Oh, okay. You can just <clears throat> slide it over, stick the bit. It in. doesn't make the horse go like like in a circle. I, when, I guess it you... could if you have a <laughs> horse. <laughs> No, let me get it. Apparently, I really need to get with Fred a little bit and, and yeah. get up on my on my horse knowledge here. Okay, I'm going to cut out what I've traced here. This has got three quarter inch bit and cheek cam to it. Let me see here. Well, Denny, while you're cutting, um, we had a question that came through before we even started today from Seems Familiar. Um, he said... Or I suppose she said, can you be specific about the differences between a standard veg tan and a harness slash bridle leather? Google says the latter is tanned with oils, but doesn't mention tooling or dyeing abilities. So most harness and bridle leathers are vegetable tanned leathers. But then after the vegetable tanning process, they have then either been hot stuffed with oils or infused with oils in some sort of fashion to create the bridal harness leather that, that we know. Um, and so I, I don't know if necessarily tanned with oils is is the most perfect verbiage. Yeah, it's already been tanned. Yeah. It's, it just, oils have been added to it. Right, right. It's been, it's been infused after after it's been vegetable tanned, but almost all of your harness or bridle leathers will be vegetable tanned um, when it's when it comes to latigo leathers, which is, you know, another sort of kind of tack leather that you can get into. Um, those have actually mostly been re-tanned. So they've been vegetable tanned and then chrome tanned and stuffed with, with whatever waxes and oils um, a lot of the time. But then just, you know, your standard, if you buy a bridle leather from Herman Oak, it's going to be just vegetable tanned and then hot stuff with some sort of a, a wax mixture. Yeah. Um, yeah, wax and tallow, they used to call yeah. it, you know. It, All sorts of fats. Yeah. Fats. And just stuff it with some fat. Yeah, it's animal product. <laughs> yeah, they just put that fat right back in yeah. that skin. <laughs> um, but then once once you got it to this point, it's really, it's no longer like toolable. You might be able to get it to take a stamp, um, but at this point there's so much wax in it that it's not gonna accept water, which is really the main property of your tooling leathers is that it will accept water and then the surface can be changed. Right, So, right. Harness leather, bridle leather, all of that is a finished leather. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't dye well. Yeah. You can dye it, you know, I mean, you can add you dye can to it, but you don't know what you're gonna come up with. You'll get a real nice model of something. Yeah, but it it's already finished, so, you know. It's ready to go. Yeah. Some work is done. All righty. Well, let's see if you've got one cut out, and then you're just going to make his yeah. opposite? Yes. I'm making the, you got to make the linings. Okay. So you're just going to line it with the same weight, so you'll end up with about yeah. 12 to 14 ounce? Right, right. Very nice. Yeah, this is a 6, 7, so it'll be a 12 to 14. Which I will can be multiply. A, Yes, which will be a Man. nice heavy, a nice heavy head stall. I could, I could do it with the with the nine ten, but that would be a eighteen to twenty ounce finished product, right? Which would work, you know. But could you, you do know, it with a single layer of of nine ten? Sure, you it could. just wouldn't have a finished you back. Could. Yeah, well, yeah, and it, you know, a little bit lighter weight. It would be more like a, a something you just an everyday type thing. So we're making you something know. kind of fancy too. Yeah, it'll be a finished letter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let's glue this together. Would you glue that? I for would me? love to, Denny. There's a piece of paper there if you want okay. to do this. All I right. cut this the other day when I was doing the video, and then I said I shouldn't be cutting on my gluing paper. That was silly. I need to it'll be fine. Strip one more piece out here. Get this over here. See how nice this strap cutter works? <laughs> Did you put a fresh blade in it? Yes, I put a brand new blade in it just for you guys today. Ooh-wee! Of course, the one I'd had, I'd had in there for six months. Nice. So they last pretty well, but... Yeah. 
I thought you guys deserved better than an old blade. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you know what, Denny, the other day when Andrew and I were in here, we asked everybody what they were making, and we had quite a few answers, so I think I'm going to do that again today. Everybody, tell Tony what you're doing so he can pass it along. Uh, these are the two cheek pieces I'm making here. And I'm going to mark my slots and everything here because one of them is going to be a bit different than the other. What ounce leather would be too heavy, Denny? For a single ply? Yeah. Uh, you probably couldn't get too heavy for a single ply. For yeah. a, for a, a two ply, uh, I would I would say the nine ten would be as heavy as you would ever want to use on a on a two ply uh, head stall. Yeah, that'd be pretty stout. Yeah. Once you got it done. It's almost too heavy. I would. I, Might have went a little overboard here with the with the adhesive, oh, but it'll no. be okay. How are we doing? I think I can put them together if you want me to. All right, yeah. Okay. I'll stick them together. And after they're together and I've got it stitched, then I'll trim them all off. Okay. You want me to try to line up the edges? Uh, yeah, this is the only part that you got to make sure you've got plenty of room on. The rest okay. of it I can trim off. Okay. Let's see, Paul asked, did you get a new haircut, Liz? Or is it just continually growing? Um, <laughs> my monthly haircut is next week. Thank you very much. But I did, I did blow dry it back today instead of forward. So I made a change. I did something different. <laughs> Let's see. Some things that we have coming that people have got on their bench. Oh, Denny, they were happy that you found your watch. <laughs> I didn't lose my watch. I'd broken the band and I just had to you got your but thank watch you. fixed. Thank you. <laughs> uh, practicing tooling while they're watching. A bike while 3D inlay purse or 3D inlay, a purse. Call it with filigree. And that's Angela. She says she hates herself. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob is doing a witch attack for his daughter's birthday. It's my daughter's birthday today. All right. Happy birthday. That's um, Isabel. Yeah, Isabella, yeah. Michael is doing a purse with a cacti carved in it. Or yeah. a cacti carved in it. A hat band from Mystic Mac. Key fob. Black powder gun sheet. Belt bags. And those two don't move forward from that. Okay. All right. Lots well, of things. Great. Well, Liz is uh, putting gonna... those two pieces together. I'm going to stitch this one. Guys, we're using a... a different sewing machine today. Yeah, we've got a class three today. Woohoo! I'm not going to touch this one and mess up the bobbin <laughs> again. So I'm going to let Denny do that today. Let Denny mess up the bobbin? Yeah. Let me do it. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm, I'm here to support. Stitch line. You're here to support. <laughs> you need to do a darn fine job. 
Now I'm just going to mark myself about oh an eighth inch stitch line, something like that. Whatever looked good today. Yes. Denny, what do you have on your on your table at the house? <laughs> Anything you're working on at the house? Like a puzzle? No. <laughs> Actually, I don't do very much at the house. I work on the yard. I bought a new kayak. I'm really wanting to get it on the water. I built myself a kayak rack that I did at the house. This part is what I need to do. Did I mess it up? No, I forgot something here. I don't know. I can't quite see what you're doing, Dave. <laughs> well, good, this is a secret. <laughs> no, not really. I just forgot this one part has to be folded back, and I don't want to. Oh. I hope I didn't glue it too good for you. Double, no, it's just right. Would the latigo bellies y'all have out front of this door work well for this project? Yeah, the bellies. The parts of the bellies are, are really good leather. Uh, parts of it are get kind of flanky and kind of stretchy. Uh, Latigo is notoriously a little bit stretchy anyway. But uh, there are parts of the belly that are nice and firm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you, if you pick and choose, just stay away from the flank, the armpits of the of the right. hide. You know. But yeah, I I used to use bellies a lot. Okay. Yeah, we changed around some of the sound, and we didn't do it with the um, hair dryer. Uh -huh. So the hair dryer cuts all of it out pretty much completely. So that makes the video go silent. So we got one of those silent sewing machines. <laughs> Another really nice machine. Though. I mean, every machine has its place. That class one stick has been using a lot. You know, it's been perfect for the projects we're working on. But this is a little bit heavier leather, and you just needed a little more substance to get through this heavier leather. Well, and you can use a heavier thread. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm using a size two seven or two oh seven on the top and a one thirty eight on the bottom on this project. You always I mean, most people that have the thing realize it. You always get a little better stitch out of it.
Actually, one of the girls from uh, my daughter's horse riding team asked a question. It's a question that everybody seems to ask whenever we break out our glue. What's that? What glue? What glue are you using? <laughs> You use masters of contacting in, or blue. What's the blue we use here in our shop? I can't remember the name. Van grip. Van grip. Yeah, that works great. Or you can use your barge cement. That works great. The nice part about a contact cement is that it never gets hard and brittle. It always stays pliable. And it is definitely way to be. People have been really loving our new Grinio water-based contact cement. So those of you that have, you know, closed up workshops. Yeah, that would be great. And there's a lot of people that are real sensitive. Even, even, yeah. Even out in the open air. It's, it's definitely not a mild smell. Vinny, I feel like you've made some horse tack in your day. I have. <laughs> Mostly Western style. We got a question if we had any head stalls for English. No, we do not. No, we do not. Vinny doesn't do those. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Probably... Okay, it's, it's a completely different deal. I didn't know if... Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I, I put the two pointy ones together, and then I was yeah. like, that's probably not right. Yeah, and I just want to glue up to that line. Okay, so the line... With your straight end. Yes. Perfect. See this this double. Oh, that's where the buckle goes. Right. On a belt, we would call that the turn back. Right? That's what I call it. That's what they taught me. Because it turns back. Yeah. But things are very complicated in leather yeah. work. It's oh. very. <laughs> Especially when a bunch of gay who's like us decide the names. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they get more complicated every day. Uh, uh, let's see here. Darren, you have a pretty simple question. Do all the Springfield Leather machines come with servo motors? So Springfield Leather mainly sells uh, leather machine machines. So like your Cobra lines and all of them come with servo motors. Um, the couple of machines that, you know, we carry that aren't. Cobra machines also come with servo motors, so yes. Yeah, and all these big machines, they all come with a speed reducer too, don't mm -hmm. they? Yeah. Let's see here. Seems Familiar said, uh, would taking a veg tan and waxing and oiling it then making horse tack be ill-advised? No, not ill-advised. Uh, You're never going to be able to do it as good as a tannery yeah. does it. Yeah, Kevin one time handed me a piece of vegetable tan leather, and he said, make an oil tan out of this. And I <laughs> oiled that thing. I bet I put a gallon of nice foot oil on it. And it got oil tanned, all right. It wasn't tanned that way, but it got oiled. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, you can do it, but it, it won't work as well as, a, you know. I mean, they have... Oil. My gosh, guys, when my when I went up to tour Herman Oak and you go and you see like the vats that they dip their sides in to get their like old world harness, which if you've ever seen some of that, it is like you bend it and the back just cracks in waxes. Um, it's it's really intense. But I mean, it's been there for 100 years, this vat in the floor and it's just like this boiling cake of wax and then they dip these sides down into the hole in the ground. It's pretty incredible. They've probably got just a hundred years of wax on the floor. Um, but you just, you're, you're, just, you're never going to be able to replicate that in a home setting to really infuse the leather the same. But yeah, you, I mean, you can do it. You can try. That one room upstairs when we were up there with the harness leather, they wouldn't let us take pictures. Of no, it was their secret room. Was, yeah, it was their secret room. And, and everything wasn't Big deal, I guess. No talking while sewing. Thank you. <laughs> I 
Denny, do you want me to cut and burn these? Please. Okay. Can I talk for a second? As long as you don't so. <laughs> I don't have anything to say now. Oh. <laughs> How many of you out there make horse tank? Uh, you sewed your finger for a second. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't care if I can talk while I'm sewing or not. <laughs> <sighs> All righty. Uh, now I'll trim this up. Let's see here. Angela asks, is all bridle and latigo finished on the backside or is that per tannery? Uh, for the most part, it's all finished on the backside because they'll send it through um if it's dyed at all usually they send it through and they'll they'll dye both sides of it um and then send it through the waxing process but for the most part you pretty well find everything finished on both sides unless it's been split i mean like so for us if you buy you know latigo leather from us and you're like i want it really thin we're going to split that finish back off yeah so um and and a lot of it is pasted too mm -hmm. they will actually put a finish on the the back side because a lot of times when you're working with bridle and harness like you really want that weatherproofing all the way through yeah and like this you know this is basically a pasted back you know yeah i think they probably glaze it too you run a, a big piece of glass over it under pressure and flatten it all out oh all right. let's see here jessica said what is the purpose of using two different weights of thread well, for one thing, the thing that I've noticed on the on the machine is if you have a a lighter thread on the bottom, when your needle goes down, it actually catches that other thread and pulls it up. The, the shuttle hook pushes a piece of thread in there and it pulls it up, and you're actually pulling three pieces of thread up through the up through the material. So if you have a lighter weight of thread on the bottom, you're pulling two pieces that aren't quite as heavy as the top thread. So it, right. it pulls up, pulls your knot up in the middle a lot easier. Yeah, it can help with tension issues, though. Um, really, especially if you're working on like pretty heavy duty things, like if you're going all the way up to 346 thread, um, you know, and, and the needle size just isn't big enough or you don't want to go up a needle size because you don't want that hole to be just that much bigger, but you're having issues with your with your knot coming out where you want it, you can drop down in your bottom thread a lighter weight and then you can use a smaller size needle to have a smaller hole in whatever you're doing. So a lot of it's just kind of playing with tension. Right. Okay, now I'm going to uh, bevel the edges of this a little bit. I'm going to use it. You can get your leather all thrown up in the way. I'll throw up your leather, Denny. <laughs> okay. All righty, Roo. <laughs> what kind of beveler is that? 
This, I believe they call this a western style bevler, or it, maybe it's a common. I'm not sure. It's it either a western. common or a western. Or <laughs> that catalog. Uh, I used to call them a fork edger because <laughs> it's it got, like. got a little fork there. So sometimes I call those like a snake, like a snake tongue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, <laughs> I'm not talking about forks, you're gonna make me hungry. <laughs> it's getting to be lunchtime. I know. There's some people that make horse tack. Jessica made a brow band for her horse. Very All nice. Right. Abby makes horse tack. I know she makes um, uh, nose bands. Well, you guys, if you're wanting something really durable that to, you don't have to put a finish on and will last forever, this, this harness leather is great stuff. And, you know, when I, when I had my own shop, I loved harness leather, but all I, you know, if you're just going to buy one or two sides at a time, you can't, you can't buy a lot of different weights. But uh, this stuff is inexpensive enough where you can buy a, a double shoulder of this and a double shoulder of that. Right, right. And you don't have to buy a, a whole $175 or $200 or more side, side of the. Uh, Harness leather, because harness leather is generally expensive stuff. Yeah. Well, and with this, like, you know, a lot of our, a lot of our bridle and lattic goes and, and harnesses, we actually, we don't cut. We sell them as a full side. Right. Where this, we do cut. So, you know, if you just want six or seven or five feet of, of some lighter stuff, especially if you're doing nose bands or like short stuff like this, you don't need a whole big chunk necessarily. Yeah. Um, we'll sell you just a couple feet of it. This, if it was me, I'd buy it the oh, whole chunk. Yeah. Because you will use it somewhere. All right. Oh, you know, I think Clayton actually made some pretty cool bags out of this when we got it in and like a oh, notebook yeah. cover, but he made a pretty cool bag. I don't know if it's still uh, on it's retail. It's catalog, actually. Yeah, it is. Check out. Don't. Just. We're working. The catalog's almost done. It's in yeah. progress. So for uh, those of you that are waiting. It's close. If you look in the catalog, whether you have the printed one or the digital one on the homepage, you can find the digital one. It's on page 22. At the bottom of page 22 is the natural harness. Yeah. You'll see those little accessory thingies that Clayton made when we when we first got it in. Yeah, you watch Edgy, or Denny edge that just now. Like, it just edge is real nice. Uh, this, I've never... Never used anything that cut this nice. All right. Now we're going to put this around here. Okay, I made a mistake. I'm going to have to uh, cut some of these stitches out. Well, not long enough? Well, I wasn't thinking straight when I... I should have cut this back here because this has to go all the way around here. Mm. Oh, you know what? You had caught your loop in the side and I couldn't get it out. Dean says, still waiting on a new catalog. So are we, Dean. So are we. It's coming. It's, 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 we're in the final stages, guys. We are also yeah. very excited. Yeah. People, you know, I always thought you know, shoot a catalog, you take a picture of stuff and, and write the name of it. Call it a day? Yeah. Paste it on a piece of paper and send it out. But there's a lot more to it than that. I mean we gotta we gotta make all the dumb dog jokes so that you guys <laughs> that can have a good part <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, we just have so much stuff. The dog jokes are the, that's the hold up. <laughs> it's those those darn dumb dog jokes. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, you guys. So we're we're gonna have a couple holes where there shouldn't be, but it's fine.
Now I bet it'll go around there. Yes, see. There it is. Well, Denny, you know you could just take that back over to the sewing machine and just sew up yes, that. Yes, I think I will, too. <laughs> I think I will. And then it'll be like it was meant to be. Hey, Denny. Yes, sir. What do you think about having some girls in from the team and making some nose bands with them and teaching some some of the Southern sweethearts how to... I don't know what I think about it. Oh, just as long as they don't do it in when you're on vacation? That's right. <laughs> I'm going to be gone in the month of June, baby. Are you Basically going anywhere fun? Are you going to vlog your trip? Vlog? <laughs> <laughs> can I go with you so I can yeah. just shoot videos of you driving? Yeah, sure. Okay. Our whole video crew will be gone for the month of June. <laughs> <laughs> Please come back in July. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back. He makes threats. <laughs> I'm not talking. Yeah, you're <laughs> swimming along. Okay. <laughs> Mike Swain asked, how many items are in our catalog? Oh, Chad, do you have a count on there? How many items are in the catalog? Oh, I have no idea. I can tell you how many are on the website. Hundreds. There are hundreds. Oh, thousands. The website has over 10,000 items on it. 10,000. The catalog is probably... A couple thousand? Five to seven. It's a lot, guys. You have guys, you seen that, that book? that's not a joke either. It's not. It's <laughs> that, not a joke. That's... Hey, I don't know if any of you have ever been in this store, but... Even the stuff that's on the website and in the catalog, that doesn't cover it. <laughs> There's, more. There's more that's not. <laughs> we are filled up. Okay. All right. Now. So that wraps time. around. Okay. Now, let me scratch this up. It's a little kind of stick. We'll glue that and that. Yes, sir. Then, while you're doing that, I'll punch some more holes in this. Let's put a buckle on it. And I knew I'd forget something. I forgot the small double cap rivets, but I'll use a copper rivet and burr. People love that anyway. Yeah, they do. That's the best. Well, Denny, where are you going? We're going to... Uh, we're going to start out and go down through northern New Mexico. Go through Raton. And then we're going to go up. And, and I've never seen the... Uh, I'm from Colorado, by the way. I, I grew up in Colorado. But I never did go to the Great Sand Dune. Oh. And I want to see that. So we're going to go see that. And then we're just going to tour western Colorado. Just going to tootle along? Yeah, we're going to go what you to do. see the Black Canyon of the Gunnison. I used to go elk hunting over there, and I want to spend a few days camping over in that area. It's nice. really beautiful. Country. You want to run over to tell you, Ryan? Uh, probably. I don't. I really don't know where all we're going. They'll just do whatever the day presents that's right that sounds great i love those kind of vacations yeah that's the way we do it and we stop at every little <laughs> snake store on the way you know <laughs> if it says alligator wrestling or something like that we'll stop <laughs> All right. now i'm going to set these buckles on here with these copper rivet and burrs this is kind of overkill but like I said, I forgot to bring double cap rivets. <laughs> hey, we're making tack. Yeah. Danny, you're moving too fast there. Every time I try to get the camera in line, you just Well, sorry. Bit. You need to get on the ball.
What are you looking for? Oh, I had a rivet domer here somewhere. Here it is. Which kind of makes it look a little bit finished. Very nice. I forgot though. Someone's going to ask where if we have those rivet domers. Nope. Nope. <laughs> this this looks real old. Get it from Bob Douglas. There you go. Bob Douglas. Denny, how does this like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it folds over there. Okay. And and I'll stitch it, and then then we'll actually run it through there. Okay. After it's stitched. And then it slips around. Yes, it slips up and down. I used to make lots of those installs like this. I don't think I could tell. Pieces. <laughs> Let's see, Angela asked, is that double layer, is that doubled on the bin? No. The single layer? No. It's single. Yeah, that's so that's, I, he had to cut it, cut it out. Yeah, that's why I had to cut Hold those on. stitches back. Show that again there, Lynn. You want to go to the up? Okay. Okay. So... That's just uh, let's hear. So this this one piece comes around and it's single. So your your inside lining ends right here. Perfect. All right. Good job. Thanks. Now let me stitch this. I was using the camera for the. And he's machine. moving all over the place today. I know this camera is getting ready to be exhausted. <laughs> Find the battery. He's getting set up over there. Just give him a second. Carry on. Carry on. Okay. All this camera movement is making me exhausted. Poor thing. <laughs> Oh, we do have a number twelve donor on the website. Do we? Yeah. It's not I think that's for one. that's for setting domed rivets. I think we have one. No. I thought we did. It's for setting those double cap domes. Yeah, it's uh, for setting the domed. I don't think it's going to be sturdy enough. You could you could try it, I suppose. We used, we used to have those. Uh, Spot setters. I believe they were spot setters that you could use for them. I've heard of people just taking the, like a nut and bolt about the right size mm -hmm. and tack welding that, that nut on the end of that bolt and just using it to dome those bridges. Yeah, you, you crafters are crafty out there. Yeah. You come up with all sorts of things. Those crappy crafters. <laughs> It says we have a twelve millimeter domed rivet setter. Yeah, that's for the double. That, that's for the domed double cap rivet. Yeah. Well, uh, I forgot to. Uh, what good are we anyway? Very little. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you you could try. Look at your can of saddle soap there, didn't he? What's that? Look at your can of saddle soap. You like it? Yeah. All right, this is just about done. Get punch some yeah. buckle holes in there. Yeah. Where was... I'll let you stop. This I can do that. Let's see here. I'm measuring these. <laughs> Real precise. Chevy asked if you were going to share your napping spot with me later. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just as long as you're not in it while I'm there. Yeah.
I was telling you those rodeos might have the rain quit. Yeehaw! <laughs> I didn't think I they, didn't do that. I didn't think they canceled rodeos. There was supposed to be one in Aurora tonight too. They did cancel it. Those cowboys can handle some weather. Back when I was roping, we used to rope in the rain. Well, it wasn't fun. <laughs> it, was, it was real nasty. Slip down on a horse and grab a rope. Let's go. Yeah. All right. You want me to saddle soap that too? Oh, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot the saddle soap. That'd been terrible, but it wore out in no time. Uh oh, Melissa's going to need a napping spot now. <laughs> All right, now I didn't bring a string tie with me, but I would just use a, a let go string tie, like a boot lace type tie, to, uh, for the bit ends here. Is that two holes that you tie that to? I'm a really slow saddle to work. Yeah, but you're doing what were you well. saying there? Those other two hands you got there in front of you? Yeah, I would just use I would just use a string tie for these bit ends. Yeah, this one over here by me. Yeah. Oh, almost. I, I honestly, you guys, I tried all morning long. I made a list of everything that I needed to bring over here. Puts it in his little blue basket. I do. A little <laughs> red riding hood basket. And I forgot. What else okay. did I forget? All right. You know what? We got our coffee cups. That's really all that matters. Yeah. All right. Tim says over in Oregon, they do everything in the rain. That's because it never stops raining, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We've got a head stall right here. Yeehaw. And it's a nice one. We got some kangaroo lace if we just wanted to tie it up. Yeah. Yeah, and see this this little part just slips up and down. And your horse, if if you use it on the same horse, and most people use the same head stall on the same horse all the time, it'll kind of shape itself to that particular horse. That one ear. Yep. All righty. Anyway. Well, there's a thing. What's next? All right. <laughs> well, there's a thing. <laughs> Great job, Lynn. Yeah, but that, you know, that's that harness leather, and man, it's that nice. thing will wear forever. Let's see. Somebody wants to know how big our piece of poly is. Two, two, foot, two four by, by four. Yeah. Two by four. A two by four. It's a two by four. It doesn't have been the expensive two by fours that you can buy right now. <laughs> yeah. Not quite the same price. <laughs> okay. Now, let's build a flank cinch, or at least start one. And if you guys get tired, you let me know. And I, <clears throat> I think I'm going to use a heavy weight, top and bottom, on the, on the liner. Yeehaw! On this. I need to stop that. That's the second time today I've yeehawed. <laughs> okay. And this is a six inch wide at the center. So, I, <clears throat> and I'm going to line it. So the bottom, which is what I'm going to mark first we'll go full length and then the top will stop here at our buckle slots so let me set this here and if you notice this piece of leather isn't so beautiful but this is going to be the very bottom i think it's so gorgeous. i'm going so i'm going to use it because it, it i would use it on my own tack i'll say that okay Buckle slots and everything. So does this does go around the breast of the horse? This goes around the, the belly. Oh, the belly. It's, well, it, there's a cinch on the front that you actually tighten down, and that's what holds the saddle on. Okay. But this back cinch is uh, to keep the saddle from tipping up. Like if you if you rope mm -hmm. and stop, you roped a piece of livestock out in front of you, and your horse stops. You're attached to the horn. It'll want to tip the back of the saddle up. Oh, this keeps you. Yeah, this keeps the saddle from tipping up. Keeps the saddle down. Keeps you on the horse. Well, that yeah. sounds like. Well, good. it may not keep you on the horse. It's, uh, it's keep the saddle on the horse. <laughs> yeah, and it's unless you're open, it's really not a necessary item. But most people use one. Almost all saddles now are, are they call it double rigged. 
you know, for cinch front and back. Okay. I want to mark a spot in the middle for this little D-ring here. Yeah, that one you and I made, we about forgot to put that in there. Yeah, and I want to do this in between the, the lining and the top, so I definitely don't want to forget it. All right, now I'm going to cut this out. And that's to keep your two cinches together. Yes, it's called a cinch <laughs> connector. It's a cinch. It's a cinch. This stuff cuts so nice, you guys. Oh, you know what? Mm -mm. Our most watched video mm -hmm. on Instagram is that belt that Clayton did, is it not? How about YouTube? On YouTube. Because yep. that's that's what I meant. It's we made did. out of this leather. We did. Joe's no talking in that video. But there is instructions that pop up on the screen. Yeah. And some Isn't there really fun song? music. Yeah. Little, little song. Little song and dance. Little bell. Little natural harness. Yeah. It's actually a double layer. More like a uh, conceal and carry bell. That's right. Denny, why would you why would you double layer a belt like that or like this? Well, or the head stall. Why would you double layer instead of uh, just make it out of one really thick piece? Just yeah. it's nicer. It has a finished side underneath rather than the rough side. Yeah. Uh, other than that, there's there's really no there are no rules. You don't have to do anything like that. But if you want to finish it. A little nicer, double it up. Jeff remembers that he said the one that has the copper. Yeah, that one. Yep, yeah, it is a copper belt. I'll People. actually, I'll probably wear it tonight. Oh, Tony has it. Yeah, we made it for me. <laughs> well, we made it my size. We probably didn't make it for me, but things happen. It ended up for you. <laughs> things happen sometimes. There's got to be some benefit to doing all this, right? I know. I I got a valet tray with red cork in it, too, on my desk. What? <laughs> oh, hey, let's see that. How'd that come out? Did, oh. we, did we finish it in the video? No. I don't, no, I hadn't finished the edging yet. I just put on maybe one coat. Incoming! Very nice. Yeah. Nice. Look at that nice edge. Very sophisticated looking. I know. It's, it's pretty fancy. Yeah. Look at that. We, we even use the SLC snap. Where did we get those? Uh -oh. Do we have show? those? We do have them. They're not really for sale, but there's a pile of them over there. You're nice. showing them on the top camera. I usually, I think this is the first time we've, we've actually used them. They came in like right when COVID hit last year. And so it, it, we, we really haven't had a chance to really yeah. figure out what we're going to do with SLC branded snaps. Those are nice. It's like a frisbee. <laughs> that smooth collar is really nice too. It's like when it's thin like that, it holds a nice form. Yeah, it does. It feels really good. I love that smooth though. All right, here we go with the copper riveting. I'm going to uh, this D clip. I'm going to set it with a copper riveting burr. If I can find where I put it. <laughs> So you guys, if you would come over to my area, I wouldn't have to be hunting everything like this. You've got everything in its place. Well, we <laughs> talked about setting some cameras up over in your area, Denny. <laughs> and we'll just stream you all day long from your desk. Tony, <laughs> so would you like me to come to your area, Denny? <laughs> I didn't say you. I didn't invite you. Oh, okay. <laughs> the You're going to break my ball. piece of granite, aren't you? <laughs> You may. Oh, here it goes. Break it out in. It's okay. We got it fair. Yep. What's that? I thought you break the break rock. The edge of my granite there. Oh, well, I'm trying. I might before <laughs> it's all said and done. Yeah, Denny, you sure do have to bring a lot of tools. No, I do. 
He's got quite the quite the pile over there. Now, give you a handy little domer on that. Okay. Now, if it was a piece of polygon that big, would we sell a piece of two foot by four foot? Yeah, they're really awful to ship, but I, I do believe that it's in. I think that there's a listing. You want to flip it over and like trace it out and then glue it together? Uh, no. I could, yeah, that would probably be better. We hit the uh, camera. No, I can't because I, I need this cut. Oh, just I switch to the overhead camera, but it's wobbling around everywhere and it's been turned. Now to turn it the other way. Sorry about that, Tony. Well, nobody was in it, so it just was like an earthquake here at <laughs> SLT. Nobody got to see it from. Good. It would have made him dizzy. <laughs> We're a little off the edge here, though, okay? Yeah, because it's going to stop. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to cut this a little bit wide, too, if this is something to go by. Diddy Tom said we had to play nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, I don't know where you're from, but we don't play nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that is, that's... That's how we show that we enjoy being around each other. Yeah. Now I'm cutting this a little bit oversized because I'm going to trim it after everything's glued together. Why would you do that, Denny? So that I make sure I have plenty. Oh. And that it, you get your edges nice? Yeah, you get the edges like they ought to be. Okay, now then, you've got to glue. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, just barely. It's perfect. I it's meant to be. I didn't leave enough, but I did. And I'm going to mark this backside. Oh. I know where to put it when we put a stick together. It also helps when you're gluing so that you don't have to yeah, glue you everything. Have to be careful. All right. All right. Glue person. It's my turn. Should have brought two thingies. Okay, I've got two more pieces to cut oh. here. But I'm going to cut those out of that lighter weight leg. I've got, I'm going to cut, these are called tunnel loops. Okay, I put it over here. Right there. Oh, okay. Tunnel loops. Yeah, they're they're like a keeper loop. Mm. An oversized keeper. Yes. But for a tunnel. They're, yes, they're like a tunnel. They're like a tunnel. And I'm gonna cut one for each side here. And to get the other side, you just flip your pattern over, huh? These are exactly the same, so I wouldn't need to flip it over, but I did. It just had an habit of it. You could turn it or flip it. <laughs> yes, just turn it or flip it. If you really needed to do something. Yeah. <laughs> you make it look like need. you're doing something fancy. Oh, weren't we giving something away today? Yeah, I just was thinking about that. So, guys, I totally forgot on Wednesday I had made up a whole couple bags of um, miscellaneous cork pieces that I was going to give to three 
lucky listeners. Not like I'm on a radio show. Um, <laughs> and then I, I totally, we forgot to do that. So I've got them over here. So I don't know how Tony wants to give them away, but we've got three uh, I bags. I think we're doing a social media post after the video is over. Uh, okay. be in there on Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. And, just, and then follow those instructions on that post. And then Wednesday, when we decide what video we're doing on Wednesday, you'll announce the winner in that video. Cool. Yeah. So you could get yourself. They're, they're pretty decent. We've got... Ah, We've got a, uh, so three bags, just kind of miscellaneous cork pieces in here. Some are, you know, like palm size maybe, but then upwards of almost like a half a square foot piece. So um, we've got three of these. So go find some social media and do whatever it is that Abigail tells you to. <laughs> <laughs> and you could win some cork. All right. I knew we were going to have this question. Yeah. Um, this bench that you're doing here, Denny, mm -hmm. it's not one that we, I don't think we sell any cinch no, patterns. How did you come up with it and how do you measure to know what size of cinch you would make? A flank cinch, which is the rear cinch on the saddle, is almost always standardized. It's about to 36 inches long, I believe. Because you're, you're oh, here's the one for a tape measure. Because you're off billets. Yeah. Off billets are generally about 26 to 28 inches long. Uh, and the flanks inch is generally 30 to 32. And this one's 31, by golly. Why did you decide <laughs> to make it that wide? Uh, you can make them any width you want. Calf roper likes a real wide one, probably 8 or 9 inches wide. Catch that belly nice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> because the calf roper, the, the saddle takes a lot of strain, you know, because they stop hard and the, the calf hits the end of that rope and really... Especially jerks. if they're tie, tying down. Yeah. Well, a calf roper is tied down and, and it jerks the saddle real hard forward. So they want, you know, after you rope a few of them and it'll get the horse sore if you don't have a big, mm -hmm. big flank cinch on it. But for normal riding, uh, uh, generally two and a half or three inch blanks inch is what most people would use. I'm getting close, Denny. I'm getting close. Okay. I'm going to dry this a little bit. All right. There won't be no problem. He gets bossed again. I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> he can say what he wants to around there. He's going to be able to get it. <laughs> Got a real good coat on it. Indeed. Don't make it dry, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear us, right? They can't hear us, I'm going to do something to see if I can hear it. Hey, Pastor, you want to hear something? I think that's good enough where I can stitch it. Okay. So I'm going to. Are you going to put this pattern online like we did with that Pioneer bag that you made? Sure. I don't know. I was asking Denny. It's up to you. Liz. I just work here. <laughs> I think you're a little... I'm a little off. Yeah, you're a little far. Luckily, it wasn't too tacky. Not really too dry, so it's fine. There we go. For some reason, you seem a little... Maybe you flipped around the other way. I think I did. It, that's good, though. Is that that good? worked good. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to have a little wider stitch. Maybe like a 3 16th. This. 3 16ths is three what this one is. <laughs> it's about an eyeball. Probably eyeball about a quarter inch. Yeah. It's yay. It's always a good measurement. I like yay. Yeah. You know, and and I would ordinarily put a, a groove in here for this, but I'm not just for a, I'm safe. the sake of speed and time. And it'll wear good anyway, because 
these class threes really pull it stitched down almost yeah. below the surface. That here. foot comes in and it and it kind of grooves it for you a little bit. Okay, Tony, I'm headed to the stitcher. Thanks, Denny. Let me rotate our camera over here. No talking. Oh, guys. <laughs> Guess what? You're also not going to do. What? Oh, you may back. You may back stitch. Or are you going to go across? Don't do it. Why don't you go across, what Denny? I did. What'd you do? I put this on the wrong side. Oh yeah, you did. What am I going to do, now? folks? <laughs> have to change our attitude here. Need an attitude adjustment. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to do here? I can fix this. <laughs> so is, is the D-ring on the wrong side? Yeah, because see, these have to turn back this way. And and that doesn't go it, under the horse? It, you're right. Does that go? Does that no, you'll no, be fine. No. No, no, it'll go like that. Yeah. You guys make me feel like I've never been here before. Well, that glue just wasn't tacky at all. But this leather is also quite waxy on the back. And so, honestly, if we wanted a real good stick, we probably should have roughed it up a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to start over here and get a new piece. Because I would have to uh, cut that rivet. And I didn't bring enough equipment to do that with me. Did you bring a? Did you bring another clipping D? Uh, look in my basket. Yes, I think I did. I did. Okay. But I don't have enough rivets. So, Tony, why don't you get me a rivet? <laughs> I don't see another clipping key in there. Or did you pull there it out? There is one. Somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Uh, what am I giving you? Uh, number 12. Oh, number 12. Uh, number 9. Copper number rivet. 9, copper rivet and burr. All right, I got well, burrs. I'm going to come back and everybody's going to have all these questions in the chat. Be like, what are you guys doing today? <laughs> But this will be nice and dry by the time we try to put it yeah, together again. <laughs> yeah. It'll be just just right. <laughs> It'll be good but to I, go. But that's the part that I need to put that oh, clip on. Gotcha. See, when we're on here live like this, I don't do a lot of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> we just make stuff. <laughs> yeah, we just make stuff. We just stuff. go. Sometimes we make it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. So hopefully you weren't following along too closely and already doing the project on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping that you guys. <laughs> I really am. Well, send you a new piece of leather if you did. That's right. I can set it upside down here. All right, thank you, Tony. You're welcome. Oh, Liz, yep. glue pot. Yeah, the glue pot. This is the glue pot. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what is it called? Is that? Um, it's it's uh from Rinia. PS boy. That's a PS boy. It says on the top, which is real nice. So this is. He's not the cheapest glue pot, but he's pretty darn nifty. Um, so you've got, you've got, you know, your reservoir over here that you tip it up. You pour the glue in over here. It fills this up and it keeps it uh, really like it, it doesn't get a lot of air. So it keeps it a nice consistency. You don't have to thin it down as much. And then everything just stays right here. You've got your brush that you, you know, once you get it all used it for a while you can just trade it out if you like um but this keeps it all sealed up when you're not using the lid it just fits right there on the top so there's not there's a nice spot for it to go um yeah the, the ts boy glue pot from rinia this is probably kevin's favorite part is that on the inside here where your brush goes it's got this this nifty little this nifty little piece of plastic right here that you can wipe your glue off and then it drips back directly into your glue so you're not wiping the edge and then getting this like glue drip down on the outside which Kevin literally thinks is better than pockets on a shirt which is really hard to beat for Kevin he loves his shirt pockets 
It's probably his favorite thing. I think we did a whole video cool on the PS Boy. I think we did, yeah. When it came in, that was a while ago. That was a couple years ago, back when our studio city. was. Yeah, I remember that. He kind of went crazy about this thing. That was pretty, it's that pretty was nifty. It's crazy. Um, you cannot choose your color. They do not always come in blue. I think there's like a yellow, a green, a red, and a blue. We don't let you pick. You will just get whatever color little cap comes with yours. Just FYI. The best color is the one that you get. That's right. And they they are cool. They work great. These are number 12s. I thought that was what I was getting. No, number 9s. No, is that a number... Uh, Didn't did you say nine? Then you said twelve. So. No, no, these are uh, twelve. It is the other the, the one. I think I can make this. Work. We said I said twelve first, but then Denny corrected us. Tony missed that. You guys are normally clumsier than this. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't think you have anything to do with it. Well, I can go get a nine. Oh. Yeah, nine would be better. Well, run talk, like the wind. Talk amongst yourselves. Make jokes again. Sure. Well, so, Denny, I I took some kangaroo lace and I lashed I lashed the little holes together. Oh, nice! So, aren't that cute? Very nice. <laughs> now they've got tassels. I tell you what, saddle soap just really makes everything finished. It does. Like it. Makes it makes it feel like leather. That's what they used to say to me. Huh. You know, they makes said, it man, feel. that really feels like leather. Yeah. Well, duh. <laughs> it's that saddle soap, actually. <laughs> You're so fast. I ran. No. You made it from the back of the building to the front of the building and back in one whole season. No. Uh oh. Somebody was asking about you earlier. Yes. Love it when people ask about me. Well, you know what's weird? And I stepped in here specifically for a reason. And you forgot. Actually, <laughs> no. <laughs> Any good reason? <laughs> Hang on, Denny. Now you're, now, you're, now you're starting to cause problems. No, uh, somebody inadvertently told somebody on the phone that we were discontinuing this love. And that is so not fixed. No. Uh, and as a matter of fact, we're not even out of it. They told them we were out and that we were disking it. And so I think somebody just needs a little bit more education. There well, is several of these. And maybe they were looking at a different weight. So, Absolutely. yep, so we receive it in, we get it all in the in the heavier weight, and then we split it down to order. So it could have just been, a, they were looking at the three to four ounce or something. Possibly. But we will make that correction. By, me walking by and seeing this look like the perfect opportunity to come in, interrupt you, and set something straight. Well, yeah. thanks, Beth. Well, we do have lots of it because I, I we went over to pick in. these two sides out, yeah. and there was plenty. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, there's, there's plenty of it, and it's a leather. Actually, did you get the grip? So, you know, Sergey uh, did us that embossing wheel. Uh huh. I'm wondering what this would look like after it went through it with a little bit of heat on it. Well, we, we could try, try it out. We, we love it. to experiment here. Sorry about kicking the camera. Uh oh. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's off center. There you go. Yeah. All right. You guys were about back to square one here. <laughs> I've got to get my, my glue ready. Okay. Oh, we got to go through that again. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way through that again. <laughs> well, you got to cut that out. No. No. You're just gonna... Oh, yeah, i got to cut that out. Yeah, you've got to cut that out. Sometimes I'm right. <laughs> Sometimes Everyone. I'm wrong. Every once in a while. Denny, should I put a little bit more glue on here? Is it okay? I think that would be okay. Okay. Don't worry about putting more glue in. Look at that go. <laughs> Let 
buckles we're using on this are inch and three quarter. Almost all flex inch buckles, flex inch billets are inch and three quarter. And don't ask me why you got it. I don't know. It's a good round number, I guess. It's a good quarter number. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Punch two more slots and we're ready to go. I don't know if you guys have ever done anything like this, but a head stall and a flank cinch in an hour or so is pretty good time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we had to start over again, and I feel like we're still doing okay. Hmm. Glue, glue, glue. I feel like I'm in like a competition. A gluing competition? Yeah. Then you all flip this and you can start drying that end. Okay. <laughs> all right, this <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go into horse tack production. Yeah. Denny and I. All these production people out on the floor. They're, they're yeah. out. They're out. We got this. I'm really disappointed. I was ready to stitch it. <laughs> okay, we're all looked back. Yeah. Trying to get a little dry enough last time. <laughs> It'll be dry enough this time. Man, we really need like our own cure again here or something because these videos are starting to go longer than my cup of coffee. <laughs> Somebody said they had popcorn, but they didn't share any of it with us. <laughs> it was Jeff. Jeff said he had some pop. Jeff Allen said he had oh. some popcorn. Come on, Jeff. We actually, there's a popcorn stand just, just a couple businesses down from us. And every once in a while, they'll bring us some free popcorn. But it always smells. They always got some interesting smells up in there. My goodness, they sell so many different types of popcorn. It's a. I didn't know there present. were so many. I know, right? You go in there and there's just like bay after bay after bay of popcorn. Walk down the alley, there's like a trash can that'll just be full of yesterday's popcorn. Yeah. It smells really interesting sometimes. It's like walking into Baskin Robbins or something. Yeah. What do you have? I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> Ba -doop. All right. There we go. Now, 316. Remember that. Everything's on the right side. I thought we used to have a popcorn machine in here. Oh, watch out, Denny. That took your hair dryer out. Um, it's everybody's favorite tool. You know, that sounds really familiar. I think somebody wanted a popcorn machine for retail, and then Chris was like, are you going to clean it? That conversation sounds really familiar to me. And they Who said... Was it? I think it was Rusty that wanted it, though, wasn't it? Maybe. No, I don't think... I don't think so. Kevin? Who knows? Okay. 
One of the hardest things a lot of times is staying out of your own way. Oh. Ah. Listen here, Wayne. I want some fried ice cream. That sounds delicious. It gets warm in here. I want it. Darcy. Hey, Darcy. Me and Darcy are going to go get some fried ice cream after this. This is really going great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I think it's awesome. This is stout. Yep. Oh. Marcus from Germany. It says fried ice cream. Oh. You have, you don't you don't have that in Germany. <laughs> you got two of them? He says he yeah. just eats his frozen. Oh. He must be living in the future. <laughs> He is in the future. I think he's he's getting close to. He is in the future. Yeah, <laughs> he's getting close to Saturday here for too long. I, was I say, guess it's what, but about eight, seven, eight o'clock in tonight over there. That's crazy how time works in the world. <laughs> well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that crazy sun and how we go around it. That's just the Man, thing. Science. My wife's the daughter and son-in-law live in New Zealand and they're a day ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, they already are on Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday there. It's Saturday. It's probably four o'clock in the morning Saturday. Something well, like that. I mean, Saturday is still Saturday. What are we doing? Oh, got to rough it up. Just a little bit. Got to get rough with it. Doesn't need much. Stitch it down. Just gotta hold for a minute. I think we're gonna make it, Denny. It's gonna be close. We're gonna we're gonna force it. Welcome, Eric. Eric's from Canada. He said he watches our videos, but this is the first one he's catching live. What's up, Eric? Uh -huh. We hope we don't disappoint. Rorick, Rorick is in here. What are you doing, Rorick? He said he wants some fried ice cream. <laughs> and Jackie, we are using a class three Cobra. Now keep your head dry. Um, Dustin asked, does SLC have a preferred shipper that we use over others? We do. Uh, FedEx is our preferred shipper. We can ship through, uh, can I put that on right? Is this on? Nope. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks for, yeah. No. Thanks for thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that, 
FedEx is our is our preferred right now. Um, we can ship, you know, if you prefer UPS for whatever reason for your location, we're happy to ship however it is that you need us to, but... Back to the machine. All right. Yep. Right. Oh, again right, with the blow dryer. <laughs> then he's gonna blow this. Way. <laughs> There's a brick wall right there. <laughs> Is that my gray? Huh? Is this my gray? Is what your gray? Is that new? Does that used to be white? No. Has it always been like that? Has it always been gray, guys? Maybe you're gray, but it was gray in here first. <laughs> oh, never on camera. <laughs> oh, now I kicked the camera. We're getting a little hangry, guys. Things are starting to go downhill. Just all that glue is. Woo! Then he's going to town. Not on purpose. One of those times when I can't stay out of my own way. Only oh, you'll be happy to know I backstitch. Yay! <laughs> This is the important stitch. Those other ones are just decorative. Yeah. Guys, this is getting up there on the capacity for this machine. Well, maybe about half. It could handle another layer. Got about 30 ounces. Yeah. That's pretty good. Still just cut through like butter. One more thing to put on here. This one. Top. Uh, this this leather comes in three to four, six to seven, and nine to ten. Or if you need something custom, give us the call. Yeah. Or anything in between or above. Not above. No. <laughs> <laughs> then you got a you got a cat you got a cow thickener. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna put on our tunnel loops. Oh. There. There. Make a little mark there. I know where I am. It's always good to know where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I've been lost. <laughs> unless you would unless you're intentionally lost. Like probably well, what was it? Your guys' honeymoon? Oh, you got lost. Or no, you just lost time? I lost track of time, that's for sure. <laughs> I there. woke up, we were in the Glacier National Park. I woke up one morning, <clears throat> got out of the tent and said, damn gum, I'm supposed to be in Springfield tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he calls he calls Rusty, he's like, I don't I don't think I'm gonna make it back to work tomorrow. <laughs> you might need to give me another week. Yeah. <laughs> Penny, how much would you charge for one of these? Uh 
One like this would probably be a hundred, something like that. Even when you got to make it twice? Well, yeah, that might add to it. <laughs> we might have to charge you for that, too. <laughs> This I'm not gluing down. I could, but I'm not going to. There's a you know there's a lot of material in here and a lot of labor involved. But I guarantee you, if you ordered one from me, I'd probably take a little more time than I did. <laughs> You're not going to do it on a live video? Probably not. What did we say that was at the widest point? About six inches. About six inches at the widest point? Hmm. Six and three quarter? Six. Six. Five and seven, eight. If you want to be specific, just don't get in the Pacific. It's yeah. probably cold right now. I've got it, you guys. Could you line it with shearling? I guess if you wanted to. You could. You're just making it thicker than it needs to be when you do that. Your horse isn't really going to appreciate it. Just get a nice, smooth job on what you do. Man, get her going. I was going to say, this machine, <clears throat> you know, that pedal is real yeah, this, tight. This machine set up. It's a go. They've been sticking to it's on turbo speed. Mm -hmm. Nice back stitch. Do what you can there. Yeah, I do that sometimes too. Just gotta make sure your finger's not in there. Go to, you go to knee lift instead of yeah. drive. Oops. Yeah, you probably don't want to backstitch after you do that though either. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's happened before. Backstitching your finger? Oh, well, I don't know about the backstitching, but oh. stitching. We did a video on antiquing. Did we do a live stream mm -hmm. on antiquing? You and Clayton, I think Kevin came in for that. All right. Oh no, that was the that was uh, the finishes. Yeah. Um, but we've done several videos on antiquing, or just been we, we've antiqued a lot of things. <laughs> I, Kevin and I did one when we were when R and D was back on the other side. Mm -hmm. Kevin and I did an antiquing video. We used some. We had some printed leather, some crusts that we yeah. antiqued and stuff. I don't know if you remember that or not, but I do. So I do. <laughs> 
Ooh, gonna burn my finger. Yeah, Denny, Denny was saying as he was sewing, so I don't know if you caught it, but the class three that he's using is set up to uh, sew our conceal and carry belts right now because that's what they're currently making in the shop. So when they go to make those conceal and carries, they floor it and it just runs down the strip as fast as it yeah. can go. So that's why it's kind of set up like a racehorse at the moment. But with those servo motors, that's the beauty of them. They will go as fast or as slow as you set them up to go. We're going to get there one of these days. That also shows you how tough these things are, you know, because if they can stitch like that repetitively, day in and day out, you know, yeah, that's something to be said for. All right, let me bevel a few little edges here. That's what people say about me. <laughs> something could be said about him. <laughs> <laughs> Many things could be said about Tony. <laughs> Many things are said about him. <laughs> Only few are shared. <laughs> oh man, guys, when you work together this much, you you got to make it fun. It's always fun in the inspiration station. It is. I think I think this room gets a new name every week. We've been on this one for a while. <laughs> I think it's time for a new one. What do you want to call it? I don't have any suggestions at the moment. The fun zone. <laughs> Welcome to the fun zone. It's like at McDonald's. <laughs> I, I got a bouncy house at in, my in house. The ball pit. <laughs> I bought my daughter's a bouncy house. Did okay. you? Uh-huh. Man. Woo! All right. That's strange. We are done. Other than we would saddle soap. The we're gonna we're gonna saddle soap this. Probably should have well, it would have been hard to get that to day you battle so good all righty guys well thanks for sticking around if, if you did for this whole hour and a half long session of of slc magic <laughs> the longest one i've been in <laughs> i don't I feel like clayton and i still take the cake with that duffel bag when we were finishing it up that was a long episode but in any case we well pretty soon since we got denny's area cleaned up over there and he'd like me to move cameras over there we're going to be streaming about four to eight hours a day Wednesday through Come Friday. Come see us on Twitch. <laughs> I'll be there off and on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll catch him every once in a while. All right. Well, we've got, let's see here. We made this guy. What is this again? A flank cinch. A flank cinch for the back of the horse so you don't fall, so it doesn't, the saddle doesn't come off the horse. And then we made a one-eared. Nope. Slip. Slip-eared slip -eared head stall. And what are we making out of the natural harness leather, natural harness double shoulders slash colatus. Well, guys, it's been great. It's been <laughs> fun. I'm getting hungry, so we're just gonna go. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see, see you next week. Next week. <laughs>